Hey everyone, Shadow here, and welcome to another Marvel Contest of Champions video. So this is Blood and Venom, Variant 5, Chapter 1, Quest Number 2, the final quest in the chapter. But before we get into the gameplay, I wanted to point out the champion requirements, okay? So as you can see up there, you can only bring in a Mystic, a Symbiote, or a Spider-Verse Hero. So keep that in mind when you plan your team out. But as we go through, I'll make some recommendations for Mystic, Symbiote, or Spider-Verse Hero uh, for different fights that we're gonna encounter. So let's get to it. The path that I consider the easiest path, the one that's going to uh, require less resources, less skill uh, for your initial clear, is that path all the way to the left. So one easy way to tell which path at least Kabam considers the easy path is to look at the star of the chest that's on the path. You'll notice that there is a one star chest on that path. So that's a good indication that Kabam considers that path to be easier than say a path that has a two star chest on it. Now, what makes it difficult could be the nodes, it could be the champions that you have to face. But you always want to keep your own roster in mind as well as your own skill set, but your own roster. And when you scout out this path, all the paths, look at who you're going to be fighting and whether you have a counter for each champion on that path. If you don't do that, you're going to end up using more resources than you need to. All right, but I took the far left path on my initial clear. And I didn't see anyone on this path that caused me any kind of trouble except for Iceman. And we'll talk about that when we get there. So this first fight is against Superior Iron Man. All right, and you can see you're dealing with breakthrough and armor break immunity, which you can safely ignore. But that breakthrough is what makes this path very, very easy. Even four-star champions are very viable. And the reason is, as you hit them, you reduce their armor. So any champion that you can bring in here will hit like a truck as the fight goes on. So if you can fight, you can evade, you can bait out their specials, you're going to be able to take them down, okay? So Superior Iron Man does not require any specific counter. Anyone on my team could have taken him out. Uh, so could uh, a variety of mystics. El Diablo could also have taken him out, just to give you an idea. So don't worry about uh, Superior Iron Man, as long as you know how to evade his specials and uh, uh, just generally fight him, you're fine. The reason I brought in Black Widow Clairvoyant is because she could nullify that little heal he gets at the end to make the fight go a little bit faster because I hate long fights. Now, this fight, you want to kind of plan for this one, okay? Now, I brought in Spider-Man Stark Enhanced. Now, if you've been playing for a while, you'll remember this Ice Phoenix. It was a combination of Iceman and Phoenix, and it was a beast. People complained about it all the time. I beat that Ice Phoenix with Archangel. Think about that, Archangel. Immune to my bleed and my poison, but I did it, okay? So fighting with Spider-Man Stark enhanced against him, and I messed up right there. Uh, what you need to do is survive the initial cold snap damage. So if you have a boost that can boost up your health, that works great. Once you've survived it, then you just need to evade his specials and uh, just take him down. You don't need to have any specific counter, just need to survive it. What will make your life easier is if you have a champion that can heal. So Dr. Voodoo, who gets a heal in the beginning, works beautifully, but so does Clairvoyant. Uh, she's a recent, uh, rather recent addition to my roster, and I love her. All right, so you can see here, I'm gonna bait out that special two. Nobody wants to eat a special three to the face. All right, 
and boom, look at her health. She heals when she's in blood based on the damage that she deals. Okay, so I'm staying in blood. I'm evading the specials and I'm going to try to get to a special two again while I'm in blood uh, phase and then fire another special two off. Boom, boom. And healed up and we're good. So she's able to heal up a lot of that cold snap damage. So she works beautifully. Um, but again, you could do that fight with anyone as long as you can survive that initial cold snap damage. So next up, we've got Rhino. Now, Rhino can be annoying, something that a lot of people don't know, but the smaller the champion that Rhino is facing, the more of a chance he's going to go unblockable when he dashes. I don't know if you knew that, but um, you can read his uh, description. The size of his opponent makes a difference when it comes to whether he goes unstoppable, I mean, unblockable on his dash. All right. So, of course, Stealth Suit Spidey is kind of small. So expect to have unblockable. Now, what I was trying to do here, uh, Stealth Suit Spidey can put a slow on you. So that slow prevents unstoppable. And so I'm thinking, OK, if I can get slow on him and maintain it for the rest of the fight, I should be able to go, you know, um, an intercept. But you notice right there I got hit because he went unblockable. The slow does not stop the unblockable. So I still couldn't safely um, intercept. So after that, and I saw that, I realized that, and I said, okay, let's just fight him like normal uh, because he's not difficult to fight. Uh, you want to try to get him in that corner so he can't dash at you and evade the specials. All of his specials are easy to evade, but keeping him in that corner so that he can't dash, staying right on him, uh, works out really well. So next up, we've got Captain America. Now, Captain America is also not difficult to fight, but do not blink when he has a special two ready because he will hit you with it and you'll either die instantly or get stunned and get wrecked afterwards because that special two is the real deal. All right, so um, he also has this glancing ability, so you find it more difficult to uh, crit, so your damage is going to be reduced. And any specials that require crit, you're going to have a hard time uh, landing them. Okay, but you see here, I'm just going ham. Now, I am running suicides. And so I tend not to want to fire off a lot of specials because of the recoil damage. 10%, um, I believe it's 10% every time I fire off a special. So I prefer to stick to special threes or just, you know, high damage. Uh, but as you can see there, he was not difficult to fight. Stealth works. Venom works. Uh, Dr. Voodoo works. Speaking of Dr. Voodoo, anytime I see Groot, I think of Dr. Voodoo. Dr. Voodoo is like one of the best counters for this group, uh, even though I'm taking a whole lot of damage um, because he can convert all of those buffs to poisons. But you know who else does really well? Long shot. If you have a long shot, he does this fight extremely well also. Um, but other than that, uh, you could also do Black Widow Clairvoyant uh, with her nullification. If you're running Mystic Dispersion, you're going to uh, have power uh, galore. All right. Uh, but I like fighting Groot with Dr. Voodoo. When I first fought Groot with Dr. Voodoo, it was in uh, a map, I believe... Uh, map five, all the way to the left, I think you had to fight two uh, Groots on that path. And what Dr. Voodoo did to Groot should be a crime. It was vicious. And you saw right there, no problems taking down that Groot. Um, but again, you have other options. Uh, Long Shot is great for that. But any, any champion uh, that you can bring in here, uh, Venom works fine as well. So now I brought in Dr. Voodoo for this fight because Red Skull gets a lot of armor ups. Those armor ups can be converted to poisons by Dr. Voodoo. Uh, and you can see here, I'm trying to let the heal, you know, work a little bit, but 
I'm taking such vicious block damage. Uh, but you see there, I converted a whole bunch of those to poisons. And you see, I'm just trying to dance away. Uh, I'm trying to bait out that special, let those poisons tick down. And then I go back in, trying to bait out that special uh, in a minute. All right, there we go. Uh, I can evade the special too, but why do that when I can just let the poisons work, bait the special ones out, take them down easy? Uh, and besides, that special two, sometimes I'll get the timing a little bit wrong and you get wrecked. Not worth the risk for me. All right, so that was uh, the path there. Uh, not difficult with uh, the champions that I brought in, but you do have other options. Uh, Symbiont Supreme, for example, is also a good option for many of the fights on that path if you have a Symbiont Supreme. Um, but yeah, you don't have too much of a difficulty uh, for that path. Now we're gonna deal with the final boss. And she's not difficult, but that Oscillate, the Power Shield, it was just annoying. All right, now this is not my initial boss fight. That footage was lost. Uh, I had part of the fight done with Venom and I actually did manage to beat her with Venom, but we had some stream issues because I did this live. We had some stream issues and um, the last part of the fight was gone. So I decided not to even uh, put that up and instead during exploration, I brought in my uh, Spider-Man Stark Enhanced, so I wanted to show you how I fought her uh, with him. So with Oscillate and why we find it so annoying is she has two phases. She's going to have two phases. Uh, one is going to be where she has this armor up phase and she's going to be much more passive. Very annoying. But when she has her um, Fury up, she's going to be more aggressive. Now, with this particular uh, Gamora here, even though she's passive in that phase, she'll still dash at you and attack you. So don't think, oh, you can just sit back and she's not gonna attack, she, she will. And you also have Power Shield, which means your regular attacks are not gonna do any damage, but your specials will. So any champion you have that does really powerful specials will work just fine. Um, during exploration, I also did this fight with Black Widow Clairvoyant because her special two, you can switch to the incinerate phase and do a lot of damage, or you can switch to the blood phase and heal up, still doing quite a good bit of damage. All right. So Gamora, very easy to fight. Try not to push her to a special two because that special two will take you out and she fires it off very quickly. All right, so you can see I took a lot of damage. Now, Spider-Man Stark Enhanced is not the beefiest champion. He's a glass cannon, and so he ends up getting a lot of damage, okay? Um, but as you see here, you know, if you can stay away, I'm gonna try not to get hit too often, bait out the specials, and boom, she's down, okay? So that's going to do it, guys. Thank you all for watching this video. Hope it helps you out in your initial clear. Take care. Click like, subscribe, leave a comment. Let me know what you thought about this video. And you all have a blessed day.